Welcome everyone, may you serve comfortable for the next couple of minutes while you embark on a journey to the core. Thank you for joining me. Today we'll enhance our test reports with the help of the Allure framework. In order to set up Allure into our project, the first thing we are going to do is to go to the POM file. Here we are defining two new properties, one for the dependency and one for the plugin. The dependency scope will be test. And here it is. Next, we are going to introduce a new property inside the Maven Surfire plugin configuration for making sure Maven don't abort when a test fails so the report gets generated. And here we can see the plugin for Allure. For his configuration, we are saying what version of Allure to use and how to download the binaries. Here we are specifying the version for the plugin. And finally, we are going to integrate Allure reports into the project site. Another thing we are going to do is to create a property file for Allure. With this, we are indicating to Allure where to generate the reports. And in order to introduce custom categories, we can create the categories JSON file we can define a category for, for example, tests that matches a status. Here, every test that pass will be assigned a category called a stable. Similarly, every test that fails will have a stable category assigned to it. Finally, we are going to include the Allure binary directory into our getignore file in order to avoid committing such binaries in our git repository. In the documentation, Allure asks us to configure a spec J inside the Maven Surfire plugin configuration, but we already have a spec J into our project, so that step is not necessary in this case. Let's introduce attachment into our reports. For that, we are going to create an Allure extension class which is going to implement the test watcher interface from the unit and we are going to override the test fail method that will be triggered after a test fails. Here we use the allure.addAttachment method for including a text attachment with a stack trace for the section that gets thrown by the failed test. The way to use the Allure extension class is this one. Here we use the extend with annotation for the test class. The same thing in the case of the other test class. Here we are using extend with annotation and the Allure extension class. Another thing we are doing is introducing severities for our tests. Here we are going to introduce the normal severity for all the tests in the app test class. And we can do this per method test as well. Here, the basic sanity test is going to have a blocker severity. But for the rest, like this one and even this one, the normal severity will be assigned. Before we generate the reports, just for demo purposes, I'm going to make this test method fail. And as a plus, I will configure JUnit in order to run the test in parallel. Now, if we go to the terminal and type mbn clean test site colon run, the tests will run and the web page for our project site will be generated. Now, in the project reports, we have a new one for Allure. If we click on that, the reports are generated and there they are. Here we can visualize the reports. Here are the categories, unstable, unstable. And if we navigate to the one that failed, we can see here the attachment. And we can even expand it. This is for demo purposes, of course. For every single test that failed, we can view the stack trace here. Now, we can visualize the timeline 
This is how the tests were run. Since they run in parallel, we see different rows. We can even see how much time each test took in order to complete. In the suites, we can visualize the two test classes and if we click on one of the tests, we can visualize the categories, the tags, the severity, and the time it took to complete as well. If we search for the basic sanity test, we can see that it has the correct severity, which is blocker. I want to express my full gratitude if you made it up to this point. This is the last video covering the technology stack I put together for developments based on Java Standard Edition, one of the projects I've been doing just for fun. I hope this series of videos and the related articles I published in my LinkedIn and that you can find in my blog as well has been of help for you all. I really appreciate all your support. Thank you. And for the last time, now's your turn. Download the code from the link at the description and explore the beautiful reports all your framework produces for us. Remember to share your experience in the comments and as always, have fun. Thank you for joining me on my journey to the core. See you soon.